Hey guys, this is Tom Warren with The Verge, and we're getting a quick look here at Windows 10, like the most recent uh, build that Microsoft's going to throw out in a couple of weeks. Um, so obviously we saw the start menu uh, back in September, and there's a few additions and changes here. Um, you've got like a expand start menu mode, which will literally bring it sort of full screen, and you can pop that back. Um, kind of helpful on a device that's got a mouse and keyboard. Um, and again, you've got all the normal controls that you get in Windows apps. Full, full screen will go to that sort of size, what you'd expect. Um, but what Microsoft's really doing here is trying to blend this sort of form factor, so a two-in-one like a Surface Pro uh, 3, and trying to make it a little bit, a little bit less jarring when it's full screen, and, and the, the sort of the problems that were associated with Windows 8 was there. So you've got like a new full, full screen mode that will take you back to essentially what it, the app would look like in Windows 8, and you can get back to there. You've also, uh, you've also got a new uh, settings panel here which essentially replaces the charms menu uh, you get your notifications quick access to easy settings down here so turning off ro ro rotation lock etc and um, you can also enable continuum here which is essentially a new um, mode that will basically change the apps into full screen uh, apps so you can take away the keyboard and use this as as a tablet Everything goes full screen, including like the traditional, we call these the traditional uh, desktop apps. Um, and everything's really, you know, just what you'd expect with, with the touch mode. And then you can quickly switch back to the sort of, shall we say, desktop mode, I guess, um, where you can easily resize windows and then back to a keyboard and mouse. So the kind of interesting thing about uh, this continuum sort of touch mode is you've got new ways to interact with apps. So you can put, you can basically task switch between apps here. You can drag and snap, um, get new apps from the task switcher again, pull down and, and kill off apps. Kind of very similar to Windows 8, but just feels a little bit more polished. So we'll bring in this mail app over to here to the left uh, and then the music app and there we go and then you can tap on that one and look at, you go side by side so you still have that kind of view and you can resize the windows just as you would in windows 8 so they're not really getting rid of all this stuff they're just making it a little bit easier to use and um, some other new additions in this build um, we've got the cortana search down the bottom here so you can literally type in whatever and you obviously launch the application also, Microsoft have done a lot of work on the desktop icons here, which have traditionally been kind of like a really weird mix in uh, Windows 8. So you can see just in the basic file explorer here, they've upgraded a lot of the icons. Um, you can see that even in the, the sort of folder icons and the various places. And again, like the UI on the taskbar has been tweaked here. You've obviously got the, the purple theming here. Um, and we saw in some of the demos on stage that there was a transparency across the start menu. That doesn't seem to be here just yet. That's obviously a work in progress. Um, but there's, there's clearly some, some, some flux going on with the, the UI that we're going we're gonna to see some, some interesting changes, I think, and a lot more modern changes on the desktop there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is essentially the, the latest version of Windows 10 um, and running on a two-in-one tablet, which is pr pretty much the, the most interesting way you're going to see uh, Windows 10 on these sort of devices.